Hey guys, I'm back. Got a quick tip on how you can present like a pro. Now, most of my meetings, I use OBS, and I use that for product demonstrations mostly, and if not, just to engage folks while trying to explain different ways of working. So let me show you a situation where you are, uh, you want to use OBS and you want to be able to share that layout with everyone. And you might have noticed uh, when you, you know, are in a meeting with many participants, you, they don't really get the full screen and it becomes really hard. Even if you spotlight people, one way to do it is by sharing your screen. Now I'm going to show you how I do it. And so maybe you could try this in your meetings too. Okay, so there's OBS and there's um, my team's client. Let me just zoom into OBS first. So the first thing you need to know in OBS is you could right click the gray area of your scenes and you can enable a full screen projector. It, you can also do this with a windowed projector. I use full screen. I have more than one monitor uh, hooked up to the computer. That makes it easier every time to select a specific monitor. But go ahead, use a windowed projector and that would work as well. Um, so let me just show you the layouts that I have for my monitors. Okay, so if you look at the displays here, um, you should be able to see a few monitors on my screen. Now, one of these monitors is designated as my OBS projector. So if you have, you know, more than one monitor, that would be the one to select the OBS projection to. So now that you see all those displays there, if I go to OBS, you would right click and full screen projector to one of those displays. Now I've already done that in, in, in advance. So I'm just going to get right into the team's meeting and show you how. So I'm going to click on meet now and click start a meeting. All right. Once the meeting client opens up, if you are in a meeting room, you will always get the proximity join. So that helps with muting audio. I don't need that right now. I'm just going to select my computer, mute my mic, turn on my Brio, and I'm going to click join. Okay, once you join your meeting, uh, there's nobody there. It invites participants as an option. I'm gonna click close and I bring that meeting window back up here and take you to the share screen, right? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna click share screen and I'm gonna select one of those four monitors that I have connected. I'm gonna select the OBS monitor, uh, a projector where I have the monitor, where I have the OBS projected to that monitor. There we go. So I've selected it. Now, when you share your screen in Teams, it minimizes. So it's gonna bring back up that client. I'm gonna show you something why I'm doing this. So when you share your screen inside Teams, um, there is, a, um, there is a, a way to know if you're sharing it at what resolution and also what frames per second. And so I, I like using this method because Microsoft Teams allows you to share your screen in 1080p with uh, an adaptive frame rate. So it could be three to 30 frames per second. And that depends on the motion of what is in your projector. So if it's just static content, it won't require that much, but if it's moving, it will. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click that three dots and an ellipsis and then open up my call health. I'm gonna zoom into the call health so you can see some of the details that are in here. The details for screen sharing start to refresh every 15 seconds. We're gonna revisit this in just a moment. All right, so just to show you what that looks like, I am now gonna bring up uh, some moving content so that way the, the frame rates would change. Uh, and at the same time, I'm gonna put one person inside of this meeting so that way, uh, when screen sharing goes, it's going to be sending that data. So let me invite, let me invite one of my meeting rooms. Here we go. Awesome. I've got that in here. I've muted my mic, so it won't echo up. Okay. Now let's revisit that sharing panel for call health. 
And let me just open this up here again so you can see. So as you can see, it is sharing at 10, 1920 by 1080p, right? Let me bring up some dynamic content that's moving. So here's a laser video from YouTube. So I'm just gonna hit play. I come back to screen sharing and we watch this change to a higher bit rate. So as you can see right now, it has already jumped uh, to 30 frames per second. Uh, so let me just come back down here. Here we go, 26 frames per second on screen sharing. There you go, you see that? So, so just remember, how do you do this? You use OBS, you open up a projector, and you set it to one of your displays. You share that display. Once you start sharing that display, um, people will see edge to edge of your OBS projector, which is the final layer of OBS. If the content is moving, it will go to 30 frames per second. And that gives it that smooth butter-like feeling when watching videos on YouTube and or on your TV at home. Awesome, hopefully this was entertaining. You like this tip and you can maybe use this and when you do your presentations at work or with your friends or your family. Thanks for watching.